Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Brad, appreciate you giving me some of your time. Um, press conference day to kick off a massive fight week and a brilliant card. Um, but I get the feeling you just kind of want to get all this done and do your talking inside that ring. Yeah, Tef always, especially with him, he's got a big mouth on he, but obviously it, uh, it all serves a purpose, you know, he, he's good at selling fights and that, so that's why he does it, but just want to get all this out the way, get the way in out the way, and then obviously no more talking in the ring then, is there? Yeah, there was a little bit of a, I say back and forth, you kind of said a bit at the launch press conference, um, I expected there to be a little bit today, it's all kind of good natured, um, but you don't seem that interested in kind of giving him what he wants. Because it's like... I'm not bothered by him in the slightest, so I don't want to sit here and exchange little bits of daft words. I know Dev tries to get the best out of you because it's good for the telly and that, but I'm not asked about all that. I just want to fight him. Do you think he thinks he's getting on your nerves? Or do you think he's walking away going, I've got bread today? Probably, yeah. He seems like quite childish, so he, he says something like fatter to me and like thinks that'll get under my skin. And, like, I just walk away thinking, wow, he, he's mad him. <laughs> I love it. Two polar opposites. Two polar opposites in dress sense as well. Um, like you said, I guess it's fitting he turned up in a nice little whistle with it being Cheltenham week. That's not a nice little whistle, that <laughs> lad. He looks like one of the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> um, in terms of what we're going to see in the ring between you two, um, I feel like Dev was perhaps kind of tee up as you're the better boxer and perhaps Dennis is kind of the stronger, more physical fighter. Um, but there's a lot more aspects to this fight than just kind of a boxer against what Dennis brings as well. Yeah, because like, I, obviously I believe I'm the better fighter, but then better boxer, but then... You wouldn't say he was like the better and stronger fighter because that last fight that he was in was about that, like being strong and showing your fight. And, you know, he didn't really shine in it. So, like, I wouldn't say that that area of him is stronger than my area, do you know what I mean? So, obviously, you don't know when two styles go together how they're going to line up, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm proper excited. Do you look at the last fight with Baluta and kind of use any of the blueprint that he used? Obviously, you're a different fighter, um, but I guess he's probably the first person to bring a weakness out of Dennis so do you look at that at all or? yeah well obviously I, I don't fight like Baluta Baluta doesn't fight like me like he brings his own problems but um, he obviously it just showed he, he wasn't great on the back foot but like obviously I, I, I'll fight him in different ways I, I can do anything in there and I haven't really had the chance to show it yet so this will be all eyes on Saturday night everyone will be watching and at the best version of me will show up and everyone will be saying after it how good I am and I guess it's a big chance for you to become like a real main face for TNT Sports. We know how much Dennis has been pushed um, and he's got a brilliant following off the back of that and big opportunities off the back of that. If you're to go in there, beat Dennis, beat him well, even potentially knock him out, um, I guess that puts you as one of the main, main men, not just in this division, but on this platform and in British boxing as well. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, when you put it like that, like, it's the perfect fight for me, isn't it? Like, I I'm asking for these fights to sort of get my name out there. And he's the perfect opponent because, as you said, he's got a really big following. You know, everyone knows who he is, and he's a good fighter. Everyone knows he's good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. How long have you been wanting a fight like this? A long time. Me, me, me fight, me last fight against Joshua John. There was like two or three different opponents that we'd said yeah to before that. That like, obviously, I'm not going to name names, but there was a couple of Queensbury fighters and that. So, like, I've been wanting a good fight for a while because obviously I know how good I am. It's just getting in there and having the chance to show everyone so Saturday night's my chance Yeah, I can't wait it's a brilliant card and a, a brilliant fight between you two as well um, what about the occasion obviously you're going to have bigger nights than this I can imagine in your career for bigger belts and bigger fights um, but is the occasion something you're kind of looking forward to does that add a little bit uh, of pressure to it as well because like I said it is the biggest fight of your career so like occasion wise where's your head at with, with that yeah Defo it's, it's by far the biggest fight of my career obviously but I've, I've sat on press conferences like this before. Obviously, with the Queensbury shows, they're more or less all, all the same, aren't they? The press conferences, and then obviously, I've just been out on Saturday and been in the all fight week with Nick. So, when you see how big that is, and then you come to this, you're like, it's still not that big, even though it is like a big fight for me, you know what I mean? So, it's not hard to uh, stay calm through all this. Like, what would it mean if you're to sit there in the change room after kind of that, that sigh of relief knowing that you, you've done the job? Yeah, it'll be lovely taking the British uh, title back to the Everton Red Triangle and that's what'll be happening. You've got a mega gym over there. Um, I don't want to kind of bring the bad energy, but I do just want to mention about Nick the other night. Um, how on earth has Britain not got a new world champion? I know, it's a, it's a joke. And obviously, everyone said the same, haven't they? It's a, he got robbed and he was hard done by, and, and he knows that. But um, 
I'm sure he won't be long until he has one of them world titles strapped around him. I'm sure you boys have been manifesting you holding the British, him holding the world title. Um, they're kind of like a pretty cold picture coming in towards the end of the year. Defo, defo. It, uh, it should have been happening next week with his WBC down them, but you know, it, all it's done is just put a little, uh, added a little few months onto him getting his prize. That's all it is. So uh, I'm sure he'll have it soon. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook. <laughs>